this is the automated feed system that with a dump box that goes in there and it dumps into a funnel trough which drops down onto a conveyor enclosed in the green area here the belt feeds the peppers in to an inspection table where the peppers are inspected undesirable peppers are removed they drop off the end of the table onto an inclined conveyor which takes them and then drops them into a water trough with a flow of water that comes out there comes around leveling the peppers to one layer so that when they come to the end of the trough they fall onto the Grovedale machine which orients the peppers into a lateral direction. The laterally oriented peppers then come into the end of the pepster. And in this case we are showing one lane. Normally there are three lanes for this machine. The red boxes are what would normally be the other lanes. And as we can see from the full view, there are three lanes that feed off of the Grovedale machine. The peppers fall through this shaft. When they come off the GDC, they're actually oriented and they fall into this cleated conveyor that takes them to the vision machine. The vision machine is shielded so that no extraneous light interferes with the vision acquisition. Then we have a pneumatic movement system that moves the peppers to one side or the other. And to ensure that they're completely up against the rail, we have these brushes installed that push them up against the rail so that they can be moved into the destemming unit which pulls the stems. Once again, it pulls the stems, it does not cut the stems. And then they eject off completely oriented so that if you wanted to go into a canning process directly, they're completely lateral so they come off the machine that way. Or you may want to run them through a cooking process. This is the inspection table where the peppers are actually inspected and severely curved the shoulder peppers are actually removed the peppers go down after they've been inspected they go up the conveyor they fall off the end they travel up over the edge They float down the trough. This makes them one level of peppers. Speed depends on the amount of water flow. takes the randomly spaced peppers and orients them and so they're in a lateral position going up the GDC. They go up the GDC, they fall into the throat of the pepper to stemmer. Vision system sees them and then positions them.
This is slow motion of how the destemmer works. It pulls the stems out. This is the results of that run we just did. Some of the peppers that pulls out the calyx very nicely. Others, they may chop off the end. Depending on how deep into the destemmer the pepper actually goes. Here's one where it went in quite deep. There's another one that had a fairly long stem and it pulled the stem out very nicely. This is the results of the production run, just so you can get an idea for how much peppers went through the machine. This represents about 100 pounds of peppers. And as you can see, these first three rows, the closest ones, uh, were destemmed. The back row is not destemmed. And this is the type of destemming that was done. And this is the destemming that was not done. This is additional destemmed. starting at the orange pepper, these are the ones that were not distilled. Either the stemmer grabbed it and it ripped off part of the stem, or from the from the 18 inch drop, they went in front end first and missed the stemmer completely. Or they were in that side pocket rail, which we described before, that's going to be shortened up a little bit. But that's the results right there. First three rows, Stemmed, back row not. First two and a half rows to stemmed up to the orange pepper, and then the back row not.